So this is one of the new Surface Studio laptops. Hmm. Yes? Very yes, good. let's start by having a little look around the front edge, as you can tell. And this is the left side, so two USB-C ports for I.O. Bit of a funny vent arrangement under there. Now this is an i7 model with the dedicated NVIDIA graphics in there. I don't see the other model, the i5, with um, non-dedicated graphics actually really serving much purpose. You spend an awful lot of money for just the hinging screen. Anyway, we'll have a look at the back. It's interesting, a bit heavy, but that's okay. It's not too bad, I think because it's got that dedicated purpose. On the right hand side, as you can see, we've got a bit more, um, another vent and also the biscuit connector, that looks like, the surface biscuit connector that you get with the docks and the power supplies, along with a headphone jack, which is quite nice. Wonderful. All right, now that we've had a look around the device, let's open it up and have a look at this hinge arrangement. Uh -huh. There we go. Interesting. It has got the Windows Hello IR camera, as you can see. It's trying to figure, find me now, I'm too far away. Making sure it's you. Is it? Hold up, there we go, we're in. All right, so obviously this is open just in its normal laptop -y context, which is interesting. Now, what we can do is with that fancy hinge, see we can flip it up and turn it into a drawing screen. Whoa, lucky us. Now what we're going to do is we'll have a little play with some apps and we'll see how good it actually draws. In the past when I've used Surface Pros or the Surface Go, I've had issues where I've needed to use like a little glove to draw on it in applications like A-Sprite or um, uh, what is it, um, what's the other one? Concepts. Concepts is a really good app for Windows and also iOS. Um, unfortunately, unless you pay for like the high tier, um, the cloud version of Concepts, you don't actually get cross compatibility. Well, you do, but you don't get like cloud saves or anything like that. Um, but you, you have to save it to like a shared OneDrive or a Dropbox and then from there you can access the same files across iOS and um, Windows. Anyway, we'll have a little play with some of these apps. Now, there's only Windows 10 running on here at the moment. Um, I haven't been brave enough to put Windows 11 on the device and I'm only borrowing it for a very short space of time. So, um, I've been very lucky. Now, I can already feel, this has only been on for a couple of minutes, but that vent arrangement, I can already feel the heat coming out the side of the vent. So I imagine if you were using this on your lap, it probably wouldn't be um, particularly pleasant, especially if you're in like a warm environment. And if you had that blocked, obviously that wouldn't work too well either. Like, you know, when you have it sitting on your lap, you might have it on a cushion or something along those lines. So the vents wouldn't actually be pushing air out all that well. So here's something a little bit interesting. We're trying to get the pen set the pen all paired up, right? This is the right pen for it. Anyway, I thought it might just be a case of holding down the erase button until the LED starts flashing. But apparently, according to the instructions, you actually need to go through and essentially charge the pen for, it's about one second, but I have no idea how to do that on a Surface Studio. Let's have a little look, see if there's like a spot or something where this can go. No, no. Is that it? It seems to have magnetically connected there. How odd, how odd indeed. Okay, let's see if that works. Okay, so if it's worked, we should be able to hold it down. For a few seconds and then LED will light up. Nope, nothing. Alright, is there somewhere else? Hmm. 
That's a paddling. So is that. I'm really not sure how to charge this thing. Surely there's got to be a way to do it without having the special, what does it say? Before using your pen for the first time, you'll need to charge it off for one second. You can charge your pen with a Surface Slim Pen Charger. Ah, well, let's see if we can find out where that um, Slim Pen Charger is. Signature keyboard or the Surface Studio laptop. Right, well, we've got the Surface Studio laptop. It doesn't exactly seem particularly intuitive as to where we do it. You might have to look up this up online. I'll have to come back to you. Okay, eventually I got it figured out. So basically to charge the pen on the Surface Studio laptop, you need to actually chuck it under here. See, it automatically connects there and then it charges itself. So there's like a little light that comes on. How bizarre. Took me a hot minute to figure that one out. Anyway, let's move into some of these drawing apps, see what they can uh, see what they can do. Start with Concepts. Concepts is one of my favorite drawing apps. It's pretty easy to use, very beginner friendly. Now uh, we'll make it full screen. Now I'm just gonna use the free version of course for now. Hello. New drawing. Okay, let's do that. Alright. Yes, full screen. No, apparently not. Oh, that's actually really nice. I like that. That's uh it still doesn't have palm rejection. But it does seem to be a fair bit more responsive than, say, Surface Pro screens. That's kind of cool. Don't mind that at all. Let's turn that up a little bit, make it a little bit more forgiving. In fact, I actually probably like that a little bit more than my iPad's response. Yeah, that's not too bad. Let's play with some of the other pens. All right, drawing. I do like to turn up the smoothing just a touch because my drawing is not that fantastic. But that actually does seem quite, quite good and the palm projection seems to be working extremely well. This tool here is the pencil tool. Turn that down a little bit, make it maybe a little bit. Yeah, even the pressure sensitivity is actually quite good. Lines are pretty straight, as we can see. It's actually not bad at all. Concepts is a really cool little app in that uh, you get an infinite canvas and you can just kind of doodle, 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 stick figures or whatever you want. Even in the free version, I mean, it's pretty good. I'm finding though, I have a, I'm not sure there's a fair bit of jiggle in the screen as you can probably see while I'm drawing around. There we go, that's better. Full screen is heaps better. Thankfully though, unlike some of the Surface Pros, I used to have um, a problem with the heat coming back up through the screen. Now I guess because this format is quite different, it's not really such an issue. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Works quite well. The screen does kind of jiggle around a little bit though, so I'm not really a big fan of that. See, and this is just me trying to like sketch out a bit of a shape. 
you can put it right down, but I mean that kind of, I think if I was working from this, I'd want it to stay sort of in a semi locked or upright position. Maybe it does do that, but I am just kind of coming at this with no sort of idea other than the screen hinge of what the surface the studio laptop can actually do. All right, we'll try another app. Okay, let's go to Pix2D. Now, I won't bother putting on, um, normally I'd use A-Sprite, but just for this test. Oh, that's nice and smooth. I just wanted to have a play with a pixel art application. All right, let's do, why not black? Cool, what are we gonna do? Let's just start off the shape. As you can see, the screen kind of moves around a fair bit, hey? It's not exactly stable even though it has the three points of contact. Do a body. Yay. Arm, arm. Leg, leg. Okay, in this particular application, I guess palm rejection is not so good. That's kind of to be expected. This new pen though is pretty interesting. It feels nice in the hand. It feels better and much better weighted than the older Surface pens. Which is nice. Always a positive. What am I doing? Pencil. Yeah, alright. Oh, cool. Let's start playing around with some of these colors. Might just leave that over here. Test me list of my I can remember about this app, which is obviously not very much. Ah, I need a palette. Ah, but I can't be bothered trying to figure out how to set up the palette if you can. If you even can, because this is a kind of crappy way of selecting colours. No, what am I doing? What happened? I wanted the skin color. Oh, there we go, I was using the eyedropper tool. There's your problem. Yeah, see they. No, the angle at which I just like to draw on it here just kind of bounces around, which ain't much fun. Kind of want it to be a little bit more stable than that if I was working on this regularly, which I am not, thankfully. It's cool, but I don't. For the price, mere mortals would not purchase this. It doesn't have enough useful sort of little features. All right, fair enough, cool. We've played with that. Let's open up something else. Animation desk. This is a weird lab. Let's see if that's actually No, I am, we are not going to purchase you. Let's do... No, no, no. Go away. Let's just create a little test sequence. Wonderful. Yeah, sure, 20 frames. We'll drop it down to 8 frames per second. Blank, why not? Stroke is a little bit weird. Uh, the pen responds a bit funny in that. Again, flimsy screen issue. So I think that's always going to be a bit of a problem. And this is something that I should be doing that I'm not doing properly. Uh, onion skin, onion skin. That's layers. Alright, you got onion skin. Ball. 
This one's too bad now. The other ones look like the pen lines are a little bit janky, but it seems like they're actually okay right now. It's a little bit janky. Hang on. Okay, let's have a look at. Yeah, we'll not blender as well. It's a very powerful machine, I'm sure, but sure, let's do that. Shortcuts, okay. Let's go into a 2D animation. Alright, what are we starting off with? Just the base pen. Yeah, that feels quite nice. I'm not too experienced with Blender, so the pen feels a little bit, the pencil feels a little bit funny for me, but that's just, it's a bit lighter, the touch, I think, the sensitivity, which is what, kind of, I guess, what you generally want. What are you doing during all this? I think the screen size, like, from some of the positives, screen size is definitely reasonable. chunky neck. It's a good screen size for this sort of work, so definitely plus there. But again, when you start sort of trying to find the lines and sketch out things a bit more vigorously, it does start to shift, shift around a fair bit. Again, palm rejection is actually really good finally. Uh, sort of. I guess it depends on the app. Oops. Pen certainly works a whole lot better than it has in the past. Feels a whole lot better in the hand, surprisingly. All right, now we could there. around with it so yeah fair enough it works it's not necessarily the most I would probably prefer a drawing tablet personally but I mean yeah fair enough oh what's this brushes thing no yes oh what are you doing okay no? All right, let's go back here. Let's try the ink pen. Have a bit of a play with that. Ooh, that feels quite nice. Very responsive. No sort of the what is it? The parallax is really good. So where I put the pen tip is where it draws. I think that's probably the best part of the drawing experience on this Surface Studio. And the fact that the pen's actually really light, so you can kind of just, you don't, unlike the Apple Pencil one, or the other rounder, sort of older designs of the um, Microsoft Pencil the pen, it um, sort of balances a whole lot better in your hand. Ooh, there we go. We got a little bit of a strange interaction here between my hand and the pen. Can I do that? Yes, we can. The palm rejection hasn't exactly been working all that well. So you still probably should have one of those little two-finger animation gloves if you're working on the screen, just in case. I mean, it wasn't an issue in concept, so we managed to get away with just sort of drawing around in that.
<laughs> Love concepts. Really good little doodling out. I would like to get some animation features. That would be kind of cool too, but that's not really what this app's about. Yeah, good enough. <laughs> oh, I'm having fun with this. I still find that the... Obviously with the screen moving around it gets a bit janky and all that. That is quite fun. But Concepts is one of those apps you can just kind of... I like it because you can just kind of scribble in it. Uh, just kind of find the lines. I do like the size of the screen though. Very good from that perspective. Let's do a janky thumb. with any kind of absolutely no reference but that's all right mmm delicious delicious hand yeah there's that little issue again janky screen for any of those sort of little full-time artists or not even full-time artists just people that are doing it professionally this is kind of like it's a cool device I think it's interesting like a uh, Microsoft are obviously trying to innovate and create some new products um, but I don't know that it's necessarily that well thought out just seems like it's still like that hinge this is a pretty big kind of blaring sort of issue I would have this is something I would have probably liked to have seen fixed up <laughs> but as they say you should never really purchase the first generation of a product <laughs> that's probably the reason why First generation, yes, good innovation and all that sort of stuff. However, the second generation usually irons out a lot of these bugs. Yeah, that wasn't real fun, that. Works. It does work. It's just a bit, ugh. That's a really odd, sort of weird brush pen behavior thing.
Mmm, nice. Alright, let's get rid of that. That's... I think I probably have enough of a play now. Mm. So yeah, I think that's probably about it for this video. So that hinge is... That screen hinge is probably the best and the worst thing about the Surface laptop. The keyboard is actually really nice to use. Let's just open up something like Notepad. It is actually kind of like uh, quite interesting. The keys feel like they're in the right place. There's like a good amount of travel in them as well. Mouse pad that feels, or the trackpad that feels. That actually feels really good. And I've lost my mouse. My mouse cursor. There it is. Let's go back to here. Oh, yep. Yeah. Mm. This is the problem with sort of Windows apps. They're not always that well thought out. So I can use the trackpad to zoom in, but I can't kind of zoom, like, rotate or anything, which I would kind of expect you should be able to do. Anyway, you can do that on screen, that's not really a big deal, but it's just one of those sort of things that would be nice. Just a bit more well thought out. And you can feel the heat coming out the side where those vents are, but yeah, I mean, all in all, I think it's an interesting idea. I don't think the majority of us have any need or use case for this. The majority of people don't really have a need or use case. It's kind of targeted, I think. It's trying to target, I think, the creative market. However, it's not a particularly polished product. It's got some really good features, as it should do for this premium price, but that screen hinge thing, that's its strength and its weakness. It's, I think that just kind of sucks a bit when it kind of flicks around and flips around. I'd probably stick with a laptop. Maybe even get a Surface Pro if you wanted to draw on a Surface Pro, but even then I wouldn't recommend a Surface Pro. I'd probably end up going like an iPad or an iPad Pro. They're far better sort of creative tools but I mean if you need specific things from Windows I guess Blender or if you're doing architecture work or something like that you can certainly do it but this is probably just targeted at uh, people who have oodles of money and specifically one Windows device on a Mac anyway I think that's probably it for now something I do really like is the fact that with the pen Microsoft have put a whole lot of effort into the packaging in that they're now trying to obviously cut down on the amount of plastics waste so that's actually something decent and I think it's actually kind of nicer to open with this sort of papery textured finish so credit to their <laughs> box managers 